My name is Tanya Freshour. In my recent project at UC Davis, where I am a student, I confirm Einstein's theory of general relativity and time dilation and quantify those effects with exact numerical calculations. So let's get into it. The strong gravitational field near a supermassive black hole, such as Sagittarius A star at the center of our galaxy, and the high velocity of its nearest orbiting star, SO2, provide a unique opportunity to test special and general relativity. Andrea Ghez was awarded the Nobel Prize in Physics last year for her research in this area, and I'm going to focus on replicating her research. First, I confirm SO2 orbits a supermassive black hole and find the black hole's mass, using Kepler's third law. I then calculate that SO2 reaches 2.7% the speed of light. This is consistent with Gez's research. I start with the Doppler relation and then use calculus to derive the equation in purple. I verify that the derived equation works using a graphing application and more calculus. The Newtonian model implies the star is moving 109 kilometers per second faster than it really is by not accounting for time dilation. Gravitational redshift is the stretching of light's wavelength as it moves from areas of slow time, or deep gravity, to areas of higher potential and less gravity. You might have heard this called curved spacetime. The Schwarzschild metric provides a way to quantify the curvature of space. You guessed it, more calculus. I now have an equation for redshift. And find gravitational redshift causes 95 kilometers per second excess inferred velocity for a total of 205 kilometers per second excess when SO2 is near Sag A star. This shows that the Newtonian model is a good approximation, but where deep gravitational potential or high speed cause excessive redshift, it's not quite accurate. Instead, we find redshift equal to what special and general relativity predict. These calculations are consistent with the conclusions of the GES research team, who found the relativistic model to be 43,650 times more likely Calculating appreciable, observable effects of relativity to such a specificity and showing that it matches the data confirms the existence of general relativity and time dilation. Einstein himself didn't think black holes existed. Then, astronomers found one. After that, they found hundreds of them. Subsequently, humanity learned there's one at the center of every galaxy, including our own. We are continuing on an astronomical journey. These calculations confirm the existence of a supermassive black hole at the center of our galaxy, verify the results of the GES research team, and quantify the excess speed predicted by the Newtonian model near a supermassive compact object outside our solar system. Thank you for taking this journey with me through the stars.